So there's some breaking news coming out of America, some word out of the American government regarding Djokovic's exemption to be allowed to play in America in the coming months. Indian Wells and Miami, of course, are coming up in March. But we've got some word coming out of Florida and the US Senator from Florida saying that he might have been denied his exemption. Let's go have a look at it. This is what Rick Scott, the US Senator for Florida, had to say over on Twitter. We have been told that DHS Gov just denied Novak Djokovic's vaccine waiver request, making him ineligible to compete in the US next week, in California, and in the Miami Open. Joe Biden must fix this now, grant the waiver, and allow him to compete here in the States. So there it is. That is the first sign of anything saying that Djokovic is not allowed to play in the States. We know that he applied for an exemption. He was already not allowed to play due to being unvaccinated. But this is the first sign we've actually seen of a result for the exemption. And it's not confirmed yet. We haven't got any confirmation by Djokovic or the tournaments or the US government outside of the senator from Florida. But this is not a good sign for Djokovic in his quest to play over March. And of course, his world number one ranking is at stake as well. If Elkrez somehow wins Indian Wells, and maybe wins Miami. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon? Should Djokovic be able to play? Is this the wrong decision? Because of course he is allowed to play at the US Open at the end of the year when things start to change in the next couple of months. But as of right now, the rules say he can't play and it looks like his exemption has been denied.